what's up YouTube so for those of you that did not come from the last video this is my $75 marketplace 46 RE now I wasn't even gonna show this in this video I'm just about to open it up because I have to re remove the valve body in order to do this mod I was gonna start the video from that point but since I didn't open it up myself and some of you guys are probably curious what it actually looks like inside as far as being only $75. We're going to take a look. I figured we could open this up together. Now, what I did do was yesterday I removed the bolts out the pan and cracked it to allow it to drain out. I caught, captured all the fluid over there. This, I just put this here to catch any fluid that would drip out overnight. And... Um, yeah, but I haven't removed the pan in order to see what it looks like inside. Okay. All right, YouTube. Wow. YouTube, this is clean. I mean, it's a little dirt in here. Look at the magnet. But this is actually clean. Look at that. The fluid that came out of it, wow, that's amazing. The fluid that came out of it was actually very clean. See? This is the fluid. Look how clean that is. All right, YouTube. Now look at the filter. Look how clean the filter is. Come on, YouTube. For $75, I have no complaints, YouTube. Now, oh. Wow, YouTube, I'm just, I'm really, this is the first time I'm looking inside of it, but, wow, YouTube. Okay, so, what I'm going to do here is I am going to cut you guys off, I'm going to remove uh, the valve body, and then I will explain everything as soon as we come back from the intro. I'll cut you guys back on. All right, all right, all right, you're going to learn today okay so the valve body has been removed as you guys see i just put a rag in there to protect it because i am about to modify the case i have to drill into the case now the reason i'm drilling is because we are upgrading this 2046 re to go into my 2001 dodge van now the difference is this 2000 and some older years came with this which is the old style safety neutral switch right it has three pins old style very you know it's used in a lot of years but the 2001 uses this style which has five pins it does not fit directly into the case so this gets threaded into the case and then that pops up in here but as you can tell the difference you see the difference of the hole so this is what's in here now we have to drill the case in order to get it to fit this so this is what we're about to do now according to the service manual you guys know I love my service manual if you've been following this transmission series then you know I've referred to it many times so the official name of this part it's called the transmission range sensor and according to the manual this provides the park and neutral start signal safety neutral switch but it also turns on the backup lights which they all do and then it also provides the transmission range signal to the instrument cluster so basically what that means if you have the older one this round one if you have this round one your instrument cluster that has the park reverse neutral drive is going to be analog if you have the 2001 newer it is going to be digital so this sends the signal so that way as you see right here so it'll tell it what you're in and light up on the dashboard so some people don't bother they don't they don't bother with this modification some people choose to just um, splice some wires to make it all work. We're not gonna do that. YouTube, the, the fix to modify this is, is relatively simple. So in order to do this job, you don't need much. 
right? You guys may have it. If you have these drill bits, that's wonderful. If you don't have these drill bits, I am going to link them in the description below. So what you need to do in order to make the opening wide enough, right? I bought a three quarter drill bit. That's what this one is. This is a three quarter drill bit. And then I bought a seven eighths drill bit, which is this monster. You can see how big these things are. And then I bought a three quarter Now, this is a three-quarter tap with the 14 NPT. So those are for the threads. This is what you need in order to cut the new threads in, and then you will be able to put that in the case. Now, YouTube, I had to get something else. Now, I only had a 3 8 drill, but these large bits require the half inch. They have a half inch shack. So I got this adapter and as you can see this adapter turns this thing into a monster. You see this thing? So what it does it just basically fits a half inch chuck into your 3 8 drill. It makes it long but you know we only got a, a small hole to drill so it wasn't really worth buying a whole nother drill just to uh, do this. So. This was way cheaper. I will leave the link below for everything. But yeah, so that's what we have to do. Now let me show you. So, essentially, this is the hole. Right here. Right? So we're going to have to drill that out with the 3 quarter bit. Follow it with the 7 eighths bit. And then cut the threads in. Now, the reason we're doing the 3 quarter bit first and not going straight to 7 eighths because the case is aluminum you don't want to overstress it you don't want to crack it you, you you don't want those problems you two so it's easier just to step it up it'll each take it up just a little bit the three quarter open it up and then that'll open it up for the 7 eighths so now only thing I got to do take these lines out the way the heck is this YouTube what is this what is this? I think he used these like a, a plug or something. Uh, I don't know. Nothing else in there. I guess this was supposed to, you know, plug it up while it was off. All right, let me check this one. Let me see if this one got it too. Yep. There's one in here too, YouTube. So maybe he used it as a plug. Um, to stop the fluid. So, that's what we're going to do, YouTube. We're going to drill it, and then we're going to put this valve body in. There's the old one. We're going to put this one in, because if you guys have been following the series, you guys know all the updates I've done. If you guys don't know the updates I've done, I will leave the playlist in the comment section below. Alright, YouTube. So, it's time to plug up the drill. Got a little uh, penetrating oil that I'm going to use just to make the cutting a little easier. But this hopefully should not take long at all. I'm going to be honest you two. I'm a little nervous because of this angle. But we're going to work it out you two. Alright. So let me get set up and I'll cut you guys back on. Alright you two. I'm a little nervous. Um... <laughs> I'm a little nervous, YouTube. You got to get this right, YouTube. You got to be careful when you do this kind of stuff because it matters. All right, I got to get my angle right. Because it's not straight. Okay, I think we're good, YouTube. Hold on. Making sure we're sitting in there. Okay. First one down, three quarters. All right, time for the seven eighths.
All right, YouTube, so the holes are cut. We did the three quarter, then the seven eighths. Now it is time for the three quarter tap. YouTube, I was nervous before, but I'm extra nervous on this one. It's all because of the angle. The angle has to be right in order for it to connect where it's supposed to on the valve body. So that's it, YouTube. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm ready, YouTube. Let me let me get set up. All right, YouTube. This is the moment of truth. I'm about to find out if we did the hole right. If it's cut. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, there we go, YouTube. And there you have it. That's it. Just like that. But now we got to put the bracket and everything. That was just a test fit. Hold on one second, YouTube. Let me um put the bracket and everything. By the way, you can buy these brackets. It's this one and this. This is what you need to mount the new switch. You can buy these separately. And you can buy the switch if you guys don't have it. I'm taking this from my old transmission so I'm able to use it but for those of you guys that may need this bracket to mount this I will link everything in the description and the comment section below all right let me get this mounted let me get everything back in place so we can make sure everything lines up I mean if it doesn't I think I'm in trouble but we're gonna put this back together and see how everything lines up I cut you guys back on okay YouTube so the mounting bracket is in place. Everything is nice and tight. Now to mount this, if you notice there's two tabs, there's one here and one here. So all this has to do is push in there. There is an O-ring right here. You push this in place like that. And then there's, you gotta snap it in, but I'm not putting it in yet to put the valve body in. But then there's just two torques bit. There's one here and one on the bottom. Once this is sitting flush, and that's it as far as mounting the switch goes. Now let me show you the difference in the valve bodies. Okay YouTube, so here is the valve body that I took out. This is the one that I'm putting in. Now, for the most part, these valve bodies are the same. The main difference between these two is right here. This is known, or it's called the rooster comb. I have to look in the service manual to get the exact technical name. But this is known as the rooster's comb. Now, if you look at this one and compare it to this one, they are not the same. Because the one here that came out of it, the safety neutral switch, doesn't move. It's in place, so you just have the two tabs. So that way, it knows when it's in park and neutral, so the van can start. Now, on this one, right, this one is larger, but this one moves. See? This one, you can depress it. Now, this one again is going to light up the park reverse neutral drive on your dashboard so now this is not a big deal right changing you can in in some cases some people just keep their same valve body and they just change the rooster comb um but here's the thing if you have an older transmission because you can switch the 46 re's even you know with a 90s model 97 98 model you can still put those in the 2000 and newer, but those valve bodies and those um, pressure sensors are different. So if you get a newer one, you'll have the upgraded uh, valves and stuff that you can use. So that's essentially it. Now, if you guys want to see the conclusion of this, which is, I'm just going to put this in. I'm not going to film it, but I'm about to install this valve body. But if you guys want to see whether or not this van is going to drive with the $75 46RE then watch the video that's going to pop up at the end of this video there it is a video that's going to pop up on your screen at the end of this video um, of me installing the transmission and taking it for a drive if it drives we're going to find out YouTube alright so on that, one, on that note I'll catch you guys on the next one